So now we will see how to generate a random number in JavaScript. So guys, let us move to VS Code over here and simply inside the programs folder, I'm going to create a new file. So as you can see, we have this random number.js file over here. Now guys, what we will do is we can simply create a new function that is get random number. So as you can see, we have this get random number function name and then what we have to do is we need to define this function. So we provide open and close parentheses and then inside the open and close curly braces, we are going to make use of the logic in order to generate the random number. Guys, remember that we are not taking any parameter over here. Simply this particular function is going to return the random number over here here so we will make use of the math module that is the inbuilt module inside javascript and then followed by dot and then we have something called as random method so as you can see it returns a pseudo random number between 0 to 1 so guys basically we will get the random number between 0 and 1 over here which will be the floating number by default so over here we will make use of the random method in this case and then simply we provide the open and close parenthesis over here so guys this single line of statement will help you in order to generate the random number in javascript so since we are inside the function simply we will make use of the return keyword over here so that the random number is returned from this particular function and then we can access this function any number of time in order to get the random number so over here let me just provide the console.log statement and then simply we can make use of this function name that is get random number so over here we provide get random number and then in order to call the function we have to provide open and close parenthesis over here now guys why do we write the function in javascript since it will be very easy for other coders to understand what functions you have written and what is the task that is getting achieved inside this particular function and that is why we divide simple task by using functions inside javascript so guys over here we have provided this particular line of statement that is going to call this function and get the random number being printed on the terminal so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code on the terminal by using the node command followed by the name of the javascript file over here so as you can see we have got a random number that is 0 0.231835 and so on there is a big number after the decimal point so guys this random method helps us in order to get the number between 0 to 1 now guys how do we get the number between 1 to 10 over here without any decimal so simply since we are getting the number between 0 to 1 by default we need to multiply this number by 10 over here so when we multiply this by 10 basically this decimal point will move one step ahead over here and we are going to get at least one number before the decimal point now guys what will happen is the number will be anywhere between 0 to 9 over here and then we will have the decimal point followed by the other numbers for precision so let us see what will be the output when we save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see we have got 0.4 this time so the original number was 0.04 over here when we run this code once again as you can see we have got 3.04 and so on we get 1.06 over here so guys what we will do is let us provide this console.log statement inside the for loop which we can run five number of times over here so that we get five different numbers so let us provide index is equal to zero and then index less than five in this case and index plus plus over here and simply inside this for loop we are going to provide the console.log statement so guys basically this for loop will run five number of times since we have provided index is equal to zero up to index is less than five in this case so when we save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see we are getting five different random numbers over here that is 2.16 1.14 1.3 and so on what if we want the numbers between 1 to 10 exactly and we don't want these numbers after the decimal point so over here before the math random we have to provide math followed by dot and then we have something called as c method over here so as you can see it returns the smallest integer greater than or equal to its numeric argument so guys basically the next integer will be 3 over here for this number that is 2 so we should be getting 3 as the output over here and for this number we should be getting 2 in this case then 2 once again and then we will have 3 and then 6 over here so guys this seal function is going to remove all these numbers after the decimal point when we provide it as a parameter to this particular seal function so guys let us provide this and for this seal function we are going to have the 
math dot random as the parameter multiplied by 10 over here so that we get the number between 1 to 10 in this case so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see now we have got all the random numbers without any decimal point we have 1 7 2 6 7 and so on all the numbers will be between 1 to 10 over here if you want the numbers between 1 to 100 so simply you can provide math dot random multiplied by 100 over here which will be passed as parameter to the math dot seal function so that we don't get any decimal points in this case so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see we have got 74 69 68 437 so these are the numbers between 1 to 100 so let me just save this file now we should be getting the output only between 1 to 6 this time so five times we are going to call the random number function over here so when we run this code once again as you can see we have got 4 3 5 5 2 which is within the numbers in the dice that is 1 to 6 when we run this code once again over here you can see we have got all these numbers within the dice numbers in this case so this is the number that we are getting 6 2 1 5 and 4 so we have included the maximum number 6 as well and the minimum number that is 1 as well so guys in this way you can simply use the math.random function in order to generate the random number which will be between 0 to 1 in this case and then you can multiply it by any number based on your project requirements in order to get the specific number that you want with the upper and the lower limits and in order to remove the decimal points you have to enclose this entire expression with the math dot seal function so that the next integer can be displayed to you on the console comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to check if a number is positive negative or zero so stay tuned